Hi, it's Kev of Kevin Stewart Builds 250 here. And this is issue number four of Build the Spitfire by Hachette Partworks. Hey, first up, thanks a lot for clicking on the video. And if you'd like to see the progression of this build or any of the other builds that are on my channel, the Ferrari F40 or the X01, then hey, please consider subscribing and click the bell if you want to be notified any time that a video goes live. But hey, right now we're going to get straight into the build for issue 4 of Build the Spitfire Mark 1A. Okay, so yeah, so the parts for issue 4 look a lot like that. I haven't taken them out of the uh, plastic packaging yet. But you've got the uh, part of the fuselage, part of the left-hand fuselage, um, some of the engine mounts, uh, some of the parts look like on sprues as well. Uh, screw cutters for that, take through that, uh, some magnets and some magnet holders because uh, I think this part's going to be removable and the magazine itself okay so yep yeah. so issue number four uh, so yeah as it, so just show what we had there which is the fuselage part as I say some of the stuff is on sprues I don't think we're using all of them in this issue had a quick look through uh, some of the engine mounts and uh, yeah, and the magnets are going to fit to the fuselage part because this is going to be a removable part. So you're going to be able to get access and be able to see uh, once the model's complete. You're going to be able to take this panel off and obviously you're going to be able to see uh, the engine in all its glory. Uh, more information on the prototype or the, you know, the beginning of the Spitfire's history. Uh, a bit of information on number 66 Squadron. Some of the stuff it did after the war, obviously, with the Hawk Hunter. Um, some more information kind of on war and then some more stuff on um, the blitz and sort of ARPs uh, okay issue number four let's get the parts out of the packaging okay so I've got the parts laid out as it shows in the magazine I've tried to replicate that as best I can um, and right off the bat a few issues okay we've got to talk about to start off this one here which it says is 403 which is meant to be magnet fixture fixture r1 oh sorry yeah 403 magnet fixture r1 it says there it's actually l it's got an l on it i don't know if you see that on the camera but yes it's actually got an l so 403 is much as it is in the now unless they've yeah they seem to have completely messed this up because that's an l when it should be a according to this 403 which is R1 and then the one that they say is 402 which is L1 has got an R written on it and the big one here that they've labelled 404 L2 which can't go the way it shows in the magazine is actually got an R on it again so it's not L2 it's R2 but it's going on the left hand fuselage okay quite complicated but we'll have a look when we get into the build how that affects it not too sure that's going to affect it um, and the magnets okay yeah so you've got really difficult to show this I'm sure on, on, but you have got one that's marked on the wide side it's got kind of a, a straight line on the wide side quite difficult to show and then you've got two uh, marked on the narrow side. They've got markings on the narrow side. Once again, probably quite difficult to show, but they are really powerful magnets. Um, trying, to, trying to show it. Yeah, so they are pretty powerful magnets. But yeah, you've got to kind of identify which ones are marked on the narrow side and which ones are marked on the wide side. And the ones that are on the sprue, uh, we're only going to be using these A and B, C and D. We're not going to be using. Um, but I'll get into that and how we take those off uh, in a moment. What I'll do actually is I know I'm going to be using A and B, so I'm going to show how I kind of take them off um, from the sprue. Uh, if you're new to modelling or this first kind of part build or model or any kind that you've done, uh, then yeah, these are called sprues, and uh, you're going to need a good pair of kind of sprue cutters. Um, Amazon's always a good place to get from all model shops or whatever but yeah a good pair of kind of these will help you out a lot because you've got to cut it as close as you possibly can to the actual item 
and it depends how well they've been molded or how little they've been molded so it's quite a, a simple process but you've got to really make sure there's no excess plastic on there so as close as you can kind of to the to the part that you're trying to remove and just clip it off maybe this one as close as you can and then as you can see there is a little bit of excess on there and a little bit of excess on there so that was trying to keep this in there order so that was A so we're going to be using A and B on this model but we're not going to be using C and D so I'll put that to one side and we'll save that to the next issue Okay. Now, because of the way these have been moulded and obviously coloured, you've now got where you cut it missing silver on that side as well. Tiny little bit of missing silver, so it may need a bit of touch-up paint. We'll have a look when we get it together. So let's get into the build. Okay, so on the build now, so yeah, we're going to be taking the engine housing, which is uh, 408 and attaching that to 406. As you see, just test fitting that first, just to make sure it fits before we glue it. Now, there's a, a method that I'm going to show in a bit, which is the cocktail stick type method, but I've already done it to, to that. So it's got a little bit of super glue on there, which we've and now you're going to be taking the next part, which is 405, which is the inner engine housing. And this one, I'm going to, one of my daughter's going to show you the cocktail stick method. So you've got a little bit of super glue on the end of the cocktail stick, and just attaching, just, just dabbing that onto the pegs, into the inner pegs. You've got three inner pegs. So you see, yeah, just a tiny little bit. So you put some super glue on that plastic. We've got pack, plastic packaging. And so just a little bit, a little bit, and you just make so you know you just make sure you're only putting a tiny amount of super glue because you don't need a great deal on that. You need a tiny little bit of super glue. And once that's in, yeah, then you we've know, just got super glue on those pegs. Just a case of putting the inner mount in. And just lining it all up, attaching it, and then that's super glued in. Looking, yeah. Just close up camera yet? Just gonna look at how how that all looks. The engine mount, half of the engine mount anyway. And then we're taking the, the cut parts from the screw, the um, A and B, and just attaching them. So that's a test fit there of part A. Make sure you get the right part the right way round. Be sure it would fit the other way around to be honest. And then uh, yeah, more of the super glue with a cocktail stick type method. Sure. You don't need a great deal of super glue on these parts, and if you put too much on, it, it does it marks the, the plastic. You get that kind of white, whitish mark on the plastic if you put too much super glue on. So very tiny amount of super glue, not very much. That's why using the cocktail stick method. And then yeah, so that's part A on. We're doing exactly the same thing for part B. Just test fit it before you put it on, so just a little bit of a test fit, make sure it goes on cleanly, and then super glue that on using the same method. A little bit. So these parts are, I don't, I don't think they would, I don't, I'm not too sure, we never tried whether they would go the wrong way round, I don't think they would. So they're only really going to fit one way. That's part A and B fitted to that engine mount. Okay, and that's the completed engine mount. Or half of the completed engine mount. Get the other half in the next issue, I guess. Now we're going to be fitting these magnet and magnet holders onto the left hand side of the fuselage. So we've got the left hand side of the fuselage there. Now this caused me massive problems. One of the magnets uh, broke. Uh, I was trying to release the magnets. They got together and then so I broke. It wasn't that one, but an interesting fact on that one is you've got to make sure the polarity. So that bar, that marking that's on the narrow side on that one, you've got to make sure that that's facing up as it says on the 
instructions, otherwise the polarity will be the wrong way around. So definitely make sure that the, the mark is facing up. You can, you can actually visibly see the mark. Now this is the one where the magnet actually broke. So I've had to glue that magnet in to that holder. And that wasn't the easiest thing in the world because once you break a magnet, the polarity changes on the ends. So they're actually repelling each other. So quite difficult to kind of super glue in and uh, get the polarity the right way around. Um, but managed it, but it doesn't look very good. As you can see there, we've got broken broken magnet and that just broke by trying to release the magnets away so well there we go anyway that's the completed issue number four so hey not the easiest issue there and a bit frustrating that those magnet holders were kind of marked up incorrectly uh, so the ones that have gone onto that left hand frame are both marked with R and the one I've got left which in the magazine says it should be R1 is actually marked up with an L and doesn't look like the picture so a bit frustrating there um, but you know it is what it is it's on the magnets are in although one of the magnets broke as well so i may i may yet get another kind of issue for the one of the magnets broke just as i was kind of releasing them so i've had to glue one of the magnets in which wasn't the easiest in the world easiest thing to do but uh, it, it is what it is so wait and see next issue's out next wednesday issue five's out it's next wednesday so see how we go with that um once again Try and get the video out on the Friday. Uh, we usually do the video on the Friday after picking it up on the Wednesday. So try and get it out Friday or early Saturday. And uh, hey, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see the progression of this model or any other ones, as I said at the start of the video, please consider subscribing. Uh, you can click the bell to be notified any time that a video goes live. But hey, yeah, as I said, thank you very much. Um, hope to catch you again on the channel. And... Um, Ta-da for now.